Grace and peace, family. Grace and peace. I say, Lam Alaikum. Shalom. My Aho Tip. Namaste. Free the land, beloved. Come on in. Come on in. Come on in. My name is Vicki Dillon, and I'm so pleased you've joined me here on my own new live weekly channel here at VickiDillard.tv or directly Vicki Dillard TV here on YouTube. You can reach me at either link. Uh, thank you so very much for tuning in to The Vicki Show, where we give you powerful insight, uh, news and information uh, that you need to know. And obviously what sets me apart from others is I understand that we as a people are more than what meets the eye. So my commentary is always laced, baby. Yes, yes, laced. I did say laced. My commentary is always laced with the metaphysical. See, we're not just physical. We're metaphysical. We're more than what meets the eye. Somebody black talk black to me. Are y'all hearing me today? And so because of that family, it doesn't take, you know, we don't need to write home to nobody because you can read the newspaper and articulate what they said in the newspaper, you see. There uh, is it's divine knowledge, high level classified information uh, that puts the earth data into context. Did you hear what I just said right there? By the way, if you want to join my spiritual school, you can do so at vickiplanet.com. That's V-I-C-K-I planet.com. Beloved, we give you insight. We give you celestial information that make it make sense on earth. Talk black to me. Shout out to our beautiful moderators that's in the digital building. Shalina Williams highlighted in blue. Cool Keezy. Oh, I love y'all so much. Family, they're going to be putting important information in the chat and chatting with you. So be sure to pay attention to some of the stuff that they're saying. Shout out to my Instagram family. Instagram, I want y'all to get ready to prepare to come on over to VickiDillard.tv or TV on YouTube because I'm going to need to use this device, beloved. Now, family, y'all be sure to share this live. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Now, I missed y'all last week, but I was out of state for several days doing some holistic health treatments. And so that's kind of a regular thing that I'm doing now. I'm taking care of me. Somebody black talk black to me. And so I missed you all so, 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 so very much. Me being your sister with the curly braids, but I know you're well. There's so many other yummy folks and uh, information that you were able to obviously tap into and listen to. Uh, but I thank you all so much for your patience. Uh, you all know that before anybody else was doing it, just as with the curly braids was consistent for a very long period, years, going live five days a week, not to mention content that I was giving to other platforms in between. But because of my health and because I'm going to live, talk black to me, uh, I had to cut some of that out until um, uh, I get to where I need to go physically. And I can say uh, I know I'm on the way. So thank you all so much for your patience. Um, I just want to get right on into our topic today, but I do want to say this because I'm getting DMs, I'm getting emails, I'm actually getting letters in the mail. Shout out to my yummy, 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 yummy Vicky Nation supporters uh, that uh, send me yummy gifts in the mail and letters and checks. Talk black to me. You can go to VickiPlanet.com uh, to learn how you can donate and give. But uh, one of my beautiful, beloved old school supporters. He messaged me and he says, where have you been? He was admonishing me not to abandon my call uh, to teach um, and to go live. And what many folks uh, still don't know that I'm no longer with Dr. Boyce TV, Fly Nubian Queen, Your Black World and other uh, 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 networks that I helped to build over the years. But let everybody know, you know, that you know that they can find me weekly here, typically at VickiDillard.tv or TV on YouTube. I also give content. Uh, from time to time for African Diaspora News Channel. Thank you, Jabri uh, Jabril, my brother, for your badge. Your gift is blessed a thousand fold on Instagram. Thank you so much. Now, family, let's get on into this. Sure, by now, you are aware of the nonstop brouhaha that uh, really got started with um, our brother, Ye, formerly known as Kanye West, and it has, um, depending on where you stand, devolved or evolved 
into including now attacks on our brother Kyrie Irving. Uh, Kyrie Irving uh, shared a Hebrew Israelite link um, on one of his social media platforms and the powers that shouldn't be. God, today got big mad about it and started to publicly attempt to buck break him and to impose, and we need to use this language, Black family. Listen to your sister with the curly braids. America and the powers that shouldn't be began to impose, watch the talking point, domestic sanctions. First on our brother, yay. And then on Kyrie Irving, do you understand? So messing with his brand deals, messing with his name because he shared a link that had to do with black spiritual identity. Lord have mercy. Now watch this. Watch this. Watch this. Folks were big mad, of course, at Ye because he wore this White Lives Matter shirt. I gave him that everlasting work here on my platform at VickiDilla.tv. I also did a, uh, a broadcast on African Diaspora News Channel. Thousands of folks watched it on both platforms um, about the mixed signals that that uh, created, all this other kind of stuff. Then folks got mad about some other statements that he made that was deemed to be, you know, inappropriate or anti-Black or whatever. So when Ye, uh, when Ye started to call out anti-black predatory forces. Are y'all hearing me today? And be careful, family, the language that you use in the chat, because as you all can see, the notifications for the Vicky show rarely ever goes out. They're already uh, unnecessarily trying to censor, to demonetize on and on and on. That's happened to me across, uh, across multiple platforms. So be sure not to explicitly use the J word uh, and other language that these algorithms would deem uh, inappropriate. So it's not about my language. It's about us getting our point across without um, unnecessarily becoming a target. Talk black to me, somebody. Thumbs up, thumbs up, share, 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 please. So watch this. So people began to call Ye a coon, a raccoon. And I acquiesced to that title for him. With this stipulation, God, today I got stipulations and stuff. Stipulation or disclaimer. We can call Candace Owens a raccoon. You can call Yay a raccoon. But this distinct raccoon, what separates this one from the rest of the, the game? Talk black to be so bad. Is that he called out them folks? God, today. See, some of you who are don't who don't even consider yourself to be a raccoon, you don't even have that distinction. If you don't know, the Vicky show is a home of the hand claps and the gavel raps. I said the home of the hand claps and the gavel raps. The gavel is a force amplifier. It is a symbol of authority that should not just be associated with your oppressive class, your oppressive judges and lawmakers, beloved. It's a symbol and a sign that our word matters. We not only control the narrative, we are literally changing world events. So you can call him a raccoon, but just make sure that you add the fact that he called out anti-black predatory forces that some of you who don't claim to be no raccoon, you didn't even do that though. You didn't do that. See, you didn't do that. That's a distinction, call him that. Call him the raccoon, but call him the raccoon that would. God, today, you understand. I've already explained this before. If you follow me, and by the way, you can follow me on Instagram at Vicky X Dillard. You can follow me on Twitter at Dillard Vicky. You can follow me on a couple of Facebook pages at Vicky Dillard. You can follow me on my new TikTok page at I am Vicky Dillard. And certainly here at VickyDillard.tv. And we're growing. Watch this. But when there is a bigger devil, when that bigger devil shows its ugly head, you don't deal with the, with, with the low hanging fruit.
Somebody talk black to me. When you are in war, you don't just have to deal off of your misguided emotions. Let me tell you all something. When I was in the belly of the beast, a federal facility on a military base in Texas, here I am, the spiritual one, endeavoring to live a life to cross every T and dot every I. Watch this. And then I was dealing with an unjust trumped up charge, indictment, then trial, then so-called evidence and fake and lying wonder witnesses and, 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 and receipts about how the powers that shouldn't be was contacting the FBI, pressing them to try to come after me because your sister with the curly braids was making noise in the court without an attorney. I was getting too much media attention without anybody assisting me. And I was making noises in multiple courts, activist work that I did uh, in the streets and in many more ways. Yes, thank you all so much for saying that. Hit that thumbs up button, share, share, share. Watch this, watch this. So while I was still fighting my case, Locked up unjustly, being shipped between several states, and it took me a while before I landed to the ultimate destination where I would serve almost four years there and then another six months when they shipped me back home in another form of custody. Watch this. How many of you all know I came across some strange criminals? God damn. I was coming across some strange criminals, the people that... Folks will say are dirty, dirty soldiers. Watch this. But I abided by, I was trying to work through the system that they said was justice though. But I was still targeted. I was still set up. I was still misused. Come on, talk black to me. So I was navigating a system that you all said was the official one, the righteous one, the just one, and they gave me the big fat middle finger. Yes, they did. But I ran across some for real, for real criminals. And when some of them for real, for real criminals that rocked with me because of my spiritual power, they didn't even understand it. Hell, I didn't understand it. Talk back to me. God, today. They had my back and they took care of stuff behind my back. God, I didn't even sanction nothing. I didn't even know nothing about nothing. Family took some months and Sundays down the road. Why am I bringing this up? Because some of you don't understand the power of a so-called dirty soldier. See, the white supremacist embraces their Kyle Rittenhouses. Fox News and hell, MSNBC even, CNN even, find ways, you see, to make excuses for their young killers. Y'all play too much. I said you play too much. They find a way to utilize the power of the moment with the uh, white supremacists that emerge, whether it's a Karen or Karen seed, they find a way to make use of their dirty soldiers. Y'all play too much. But more than that, some of you don't understand that you subject verb agreement ninjas, read through the lines. Those of you that consider yourselves to be very official, that can properly pronounce and understand diacritical marks. You know what a thesaurus is. Talk black to me. You got a degree in stuff. You think you know the way. You want to tell us how to do it. But we've not made, made great gains and shifts with your leadership. God, today. You official ninjas. Some of you are too cowardly or too slow to get the job done. So spirit uses an energy, talk black to me, that's going to get the job done. They use the yays of the world as pest control. See, when there are enemies hidden in the cracks and crevices like roaches tend to do, 
I'm a girl from the dirty South, Mississippi. We know about roaches, the big ones that fly and stuff. When you have mice and rats that's in your house, but you can't see them, you need something to pull them out. So some of you got a whole lot to say, and I understand that, but it shows you still in the matrix. Lord, have mercy. See, when you don't have a spiritual, metaphysical insight, you will misinterpret what's happening on earth. You're welcome. Instagram, get ready to come on over now to VickyDula.tv because I'm done preaching. I want y'all to see some of this footage of Dave Chappelle going in on some of Ye's and Kyrie Irving's haters on Saturday Night Live. They were so mad at Dave Chappelle, the, some of the uh, some of the uh, staff at uh, SNL, Saturday Night Live was so mad. They knew Dave was getting ready to do something crazy. So they said it was reported that some of them walked out before he even started the... Um, his monologue. Well, I watched the whole thing and I've been posting some of the clips. Talk black to me, somebody. And I want to talk about it and I want to show you just a few clips. We're not going to do the whole thing. Somebody somebody say, because the Vicky show follows the rules. Don't we follow the rules on these different platforms and stuff? We're not even going to use the J word. We're not going to trip, family. But Instagram, I need your Instagram family to come on over to VickyDilla.tv or TV on YouTube. Tell everybody you know that they can follow me there. Don't come over here and watch my channel and you don't tag five and ten people. Trust me, I'm worth you doing that for. I say that because the messages I get are downloaded from the higher realms. Talk black to me, somebody. So be sure to share. On the count of three, for those of you that haven't, please hit that thumbs up button. Share, share, share. One, two, three. Thumbs up. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Lil Ross said, queen of black media. Bless you, beloved. Elite super brand says, we love you, Vicky. I love you back. Miss Melanie says, yes, thank you, Miss Melanie. That's my dear sister. So family, come on over now to uh, YouTube, VickyDillard.tv. Uh, either that link, VickyDillard.tv or YouTube at VickyDillard.tv. You can reach me directly. Share, share, share. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. I will see you in just a moment, Instagram. All right, family, let me get ready to post this really quick. So we can get to where we are going. Are y'all hearing me today? Talk black to me. Talk black to me. Thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up, thumbs up. Now, let me tell you something. Let me tell you something. There's a changing of the guards. How often do I say that to you, family? And then there's a changing of the gods, you see. When I use the word God or goddess, that word means one with force and power. That is not the formal or the official appellation of the creator creatrix. So please don't get upset when I use that term. Not that you would even have the right to, because it's the biggest show. Talk black to me. I'm just saying. I'm just showing a little respect for my people and stuff. Watch this. So because there's a changing of the guards and the changing of the gods, there's a spiritual shift, you see. And those that have been ruling over us most especially for the past four, 467 years, at least nearly 500 years intensely. Derek, your gift is blessed a thousandfold. The census that came out recently that showed what we knew that the numbers of the Caucasian class, and specifically I'm talking about in America, of course, this is a phenomenon that's happening around the world, but specifically in America, when the census came out here, we found out that the numbers are definitely on track, the decline of European Americans, so much so that Jim Crow Joe Biden, after securing the presidential nomination, he was only waiting a couple of months so he could take the oath of office that January, screamed and yelled at the likes of the useless Reverend Al Sharptons and the NAACP folks that attended in the National Urban League and some of them other useless organizations. Now, I'm not saying every single 
NAACP chapter is useless. But most of them are. Let's keep it brief. He screamed and yelled at this group, and I play that footage, that clip all the time, and screamed and said that America is doomed, not only because of Black people, which means Black people are the main reason, or one of the main reasons, or one of the factors of why America is, is, is doomed, but then he said, not only because of Black people, he said, but because the whites, the Europeans in America, they're getting ready to be by 2040, that's the number he used, they're getting ready to be the, the, the uh, minority here. Black folks are the sweetest, kindest people on the planet. Somebody talk black to me. So when you accuse us of being anti-Semitic, when you accuse us of being homophobic, when you accuse us of all of these labels, negative labels, you're really tricking yourself, beloved, because we don't have that kind of history. We are the only group of people that walks amongst our tormentors and don't take them all out or become Al-Qaeda. Even though some would say we would be justified in doing so. We're the ones, the only ones that you can find footage in such numbers where we sit there and let you spit in our face because we're trying to get you to take our money to eat in your restaurant. We're the only ones that knowingly go out to try to vote knowing that we might die because you, terrorist America, have a history of using your dogs to bite the breast of our mothers and the private parts of our fathers, unleashing your fire hoses, making your cross and burning us at your stakes, dismembering us, and in some cases, eating our body parts. That's all you, America. America, you're so distinct. And don't you ever forget what I'm about to say. That Adolf Hitler was inspired by and used your genocidal playbook upon the Germans. Talk black to me. Don't you ever forget that. But I digress. Vicky, get to where you're going. Okay. Copyright Act of 1976 allowances made for purposes such as fair use, criticism, comment, news reporting, teaching, scholarship, and research. Fair use is use permitted by copyright statute that might otherwise be infringing. Nonprofit education or personal use tips to balance in favor of fair use. I always like to say that because a clip that I'm getting ready to show, I'm going to be putting commentary in between it. That's one of the stipulations for using certain uh, media clips. And I'm going to be careful because Dave uses the J word throughout his monologue in a very respectful way. But the powers that shouldn't be are utilizing their false prophets. Listen to my language. They're utilizing their false prophets, meaning their news networks and their news reporters. Who call it broadcasting, which means that they are casting spells. They call them programs because they're programming your mind by repeating the same things. They understand how you work better than you understand how you work. So when you're not supporting truth tellers like the Vicky show, supporting it, whether it be through shares, your comments, your likes, through your monetary gifts. Because I'm a counter voice, I'm the counter culture to them you don't understand when you have you heard the phrase a war of words they call it a war of words beloved because this is true warfare so when i call groups and people we gotta beat the light down god today this this is some, this some power this so when i'm talking about warfare you don't understand that one of the main battlefields of where it goes down first is through media it's called a war of words for a reason. And they always start it that way. So that way they can remote control your behavior. You don't have the physical chains anymore. Most of us don't. Many, many do. Excuse me. <clears throat> when we think about the prison industrial complex. But they control like Kyrie, for example, through shutting out opportunities and messing with his sponsors. They try to control the likes of Ye 
by messing with all of his money and stealing his intellectual property and ideas. You see? That's a remote control. They can claim you're not in chains, but still impose domestic economic sanctions. And then they activate their media sources, admittedly so, to stop you dead in your tracks. Talk back to me, somebody. If you could get to where you're going. Before I play some of these clips, as you keep hitting that thumbs up button, share, share, share. We're going to get them thumbs up, family. Oh, we're going to get the thumbs up. I heard from so many of you all thanking me for being so fearless. Some of you all said, well, Vicky, thank you for standing with yay and all this kind of stuff. Let me tell you something. I stand with principles. And because we're at war, you got to know when, when you got to know what to do in war. When bullets are flying, nuclear weapons are being threatened. You don't get to decide you throwing away different kind of soldiers when you know how to properly use them in the moment. But also understanding that sometimes their mindset, sometimes when people are appearing to be erratic, Marjorie, your gift is blessed a thousandfold. When people are appearing to be erratic, some of you don't deal in these spaces enough. Some of you are not metaphysical or spiritual enough to understand that sometimes they're under spiritual attack. And you don't understand that if you're known by billions of people around the world, and even if a small fraction of those billions of people are running their mouths about you using the airwaves, I ain't got time to break down for you the metaphysical text that says they call the devil is what they say. The prince of the power of the air. Y'all ain't ready for that. Where's my Vicky University students? And when we go live, we call it going on air. You welcome. You don't understand what some of us deal with spiritually, you see. So you jump in and you get upset by one thing this person says or that that they say, not understanding. They dirtied up the reputation of Michael Jackson. They dirtied up the reputation, tried to, of the Honorable Elisha Muhammad. They tried to dirty up the reputation of, of, of Dr. Martin Luther King, told him he better kill himself or they were going to release the information that he was having an extramarital affair. Uh, they tried to dirty up uh, the reputation of the great Dr. Bill Cosby first. Remember, they made us upset first about what Dr. Bill Cosby said about us putting up our pants. Remember? R. Kelly is a hot mess in so many areas too. But they exploited his madness, you see. And what did black folks do? When they painted, when they gave them a social record, God, that's good. When they made them a media felon, it didn't matter what other lies they added on to the story. It didn't matter how they were using them for their unseen agenda so that they could get the advantage. They knew if they dirtied their reputation, you would only focus on the fact that Bill Cosby told us to pull up our pants. So when they trotted out damn near 60 funny looking Karens mostly and the one or two black sisters that they claim was black gave one of them a fro on purpose. Talk black to me. You were so focused and so angry with them about the one thing. Talk black to me. You couldn't see the forest for the trees, you see. And they literally, Vicky, stop screaming, were able to get away with murder. And they used you with your black self to do it. They turned you against your own by getting you to focus on that one little bone that they gave you. But the greater devil, you didn't know how to separate the one, check the one, the one that's had a misdemeanor. And you let the felon, repeat felon, God today, get away with murder. So you gave it your energy you gave them the middle finger. You gave them all this commentary and you not understanding that because you are using multimedia, the internet, you participated 
and spiritual warfare. Not to mention the unseen, and y'all ain't ready for some of this, some of you, so I ain't gonna go there. Some of you don't know the spiritual stuff that really goes on, so they make you laugh at it, and because you don't know how to work your own power, you unlock it, you see. And you don't give it the seriousness that you should. And then they keep controlling your ignorant, funny looking self. You welcome. Miss Cash, your gift is blessed a thousandfold. They could get to where you're going. So Dave Chappelle does this SNL monologue. And because they're so used to so many black looking men being butt broken, like Shannon Sharp, what's the sports guy, Jalen guy. They're so used to so many black looking males come out and dogging, yay. Dogging Kyrie, you see. Y'all name some of the other ones that was dogging him. Yes, Jalen Rose, we got him. This all them black raccoons that came out. Jameel Hill. Y'all know Jameel Hill. I've been giving her that everlasting word. Y'all know she got mad at me trying to make some comments on Charlemagne the God's page some time ago. Girl, thought she was saying something to me. Lady, I don't, what? Y'all know I don't, I don't fight gir with girls. I don't fight men and stuff. I just be mean and stuff over here and stuff. Talk black to me. Y'all know I don't do that. Some of you think that I'm getting ready to engage in a debate. You will lose. Y'all play too much. I just, it just be what it be and stop. And stop. Y'all play too much. Yes, thank you. Charles Barkley, Shaq. Who y'all? Somebody said Shannon Sharp. Somebody said Shannon backtracking Sharp. Okay. Shaquille O'Neal, Charles Barkley. All of them. Yes. Did y'all see? What's his name? Madea. Tyler Perry comes out. Raccoon in a whole different way. Yeah, LeBron's funny looking self. LeBron is a waste of muscles. How you gonna be that big, beautiful? Just muscles all the way wasted. Just a big Chunk of wasted muscles. Big old scary. How you gonna be that big and scary? What can I do as a woman with scariness like that? Let me tell you something. I've said this before. To my black brothers in particular. It is not missing the mark. That's what the word sin means. The word sin is actually a word that has its etymology in uh, what is the, uh, 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 when you hit a target, archery, yes. It literally means to miss the mark. It's not a problem, brothers, when you feel fear. That's not the issue. It's that even with the fear, you still do the right thing. Even if there's a little shaking in your voice, even if you sweating a little more, let me tell you something. You can't tell mine nothing when he come home at night and show courage. I'm just going to leave that there. That's for grownups. Talk black to me. You can weep with your woman in the bed, baby. We got you at home. But in the face of our open enemy, we're at war. I'm not suggesting that our men be reckless. You know I never do that. I don't want a man that every time something go pop off, you just getting ready to beat somebody down. No, silly. I'm saying your brain is also a muscle. Can you fight with that? Intelligently? Some of you don't understand that when you feel fear, You've been programmed, brothers, with the fear, not only through some of the stuff that they put in this new weed to make you weak and docile. So when your woman and your children and your community are being attacked, you do nothing. So you a dead man walking. The stuff that they put in the air and in our food and the waters is 
contributing to you being docile and what some consider to be weak, but let me help you. The way you overcome that is through training and planning. There is a moment that comes where you will certainly feel fear. But when you go ahead and train now, even when the moment hits, you will be nurturing. Yes, yes, yes. What is it? Your automatic reflexes to still do the right thing. I teach this principle, a spiritual principle. Many years ago, I had this revelation. One of the former Secret Service men who jumped in the way of the assassination uh, attempt on Ronald Reagan. How many of my people remember me giving that revelation at Vicky University, even though I gave that revelation many years ago prior to that? How many of y'all remember that? Yes, conscious window, muscle memory, you got it. You got to develop muscle memory, you see? It's not, you're no less of a man if you feel fear. My point is there's some training you can do. Whether it's economically your fear, go ahead and start your planning. Whether physically, get into somebody's gym, start taking martial arts. Train, beloved. And then also your environment. Whose electromagnetic fields do you hang in? Are you with men that make excuses all the time? Are you with men that don't manifest and do what it takes? They go through every step to make sure that they do what they say they're going to do. Are you around fearless men? It's nothing wrong if sometimes you feel like crying. It's nothing wrong if sometimes you feel like fear. But there is something that you can do notwithstanding such emotions. Talk black to me. Somebody said you got to get the fear out of your DNA. That's a reworking and a rewiring and a recoding of it. I believe enough in you to tell you to stand up like a man. God damn! Tell you ain't nothing I can do with a coward. Vicky, you need to get to where you're going. You got to hurry get off of here. Look at this headline from, there is all over um, different publications. But this particular one is from New York Post. Look at this headline, family. It says Dave Chappelle's SNL monologue slammed by the ADL for normalizing anti-Semitism. Why do I always say intentionally and on purpose that black folks are the, the, the most loving, kind, sweetest people on the planet? I always start with that. And I always remind you of our history of allowing our open enemies to literally kill us and dismember us because I'm letting you know it's a trick when they label us as those things. It's a means of control. And while we were forced to learn about the German Holocaust, the white, uh, the white Jewish Holocaust, and it was atrocious. Y'all got reparations. America helped to fight World War II to free you. The rest of the world, which is why it's called World War II, helped to come there to free you. And the very people that helped to tear up the country to free you turned around and helped you rebuild it. Where they do that at? They gave you money too. And you've never experienced that again. And estimates range anywhere from five to 12 years. They say the Holocaust lasted, the white Holocaust. We admit it was hell and it was wrong and it should never happen again. In fact, that's what y'all saying is never again. But let me tell you something. What say you about the black Holocaust that has received no relief of oppression into 500 years. And God knows we ain't received one dime or dollar in reparations. And when World War II was fought, 
my black family and so many of yours was barely up from chattel slavery, still in the thick in some cases of Jim Crow, all cases in America, Jim Crow at that time. But in some cases, the godlessness of sharecropping and convict leasing. There is no war, including the Revolutionary War, that black folks didn't fight. We had chains on, or we had the invisible ones. And so when you, and you better listen to me, black family, I'm gonna keep pushing this narrative. And you need to be saying what your sister with the curly braids is saying. The stuff I tell you to say when they try to put all this mess out there about us, it's effective. That's the reason why the CNN and the MSNBCs and all them high profile people that y'all be like, why they care about what Vicky says? Because my word has power in it. It's the goddess, God in my mouth. Beloved, the seed of the words that I say will come to pass and it will have its greatest impact. Not only in this world, if you can hear it, but in the worlds to come. You heard me right. You remind them when they say you're anti-Semitic. You say, that's strange. Seeing that we've been dealing with oppression for 500 years in the Black Holocaust and we've neither, you all have neither ceased nor desisted. I'm talking about white supremacy in America and around the world. You've neither ceased nor desisted oppressing us and we haven't received any relief financially. But more than that, more than that, while we still had invisible chains, while we're in the thick of Jim Crow, America won World War II because of black soldiers. What? I said it was black soldiers, black women and men, some who volunteered, that fought to free the very people that's calling us anti-Semitic. You better go sit your funny looking self down. I'm offended when you fix your lips to say that we shed our very black blood that was still wrapped up in invisible chains to free you from Hitler. And your Nazis, your Hitler got his ideas from anti-black oppression in America. You better go sit your butt and step down. So now the Anti-Defamation League, that's the ADL, who are an anti-black group that MSNBC, CNN, and all these other white networks keep bringing up, they bring them on as if they're the moral police. So when they say somebody is offended by they offended by something or somebody's doing something that's discriminatory, they call these folks up. These folks have a history of dogging black folks. We don't acknowledge any authority from no ADL. That dog don't hunt for us. So these folks are mad at Dave Chappelle right now. Why, Vicky? Vicky, get to where you're going, please. Okay. Family, we got to skip through this. Listen. Dave Chappelle making his appearance now. Saturday Night Live. SNL. Talk black to me. Thank you. Thank you very much for being here. Uh, but before I start tonight, I just wanted to read <laughs> a brief statement that I prepared. Y'all, are y'all ready? Let me turn this, this thing off here so these things don't keep coming through. Y'all ready for what he about to say? This is how he opened his monologue. Again, family, I'm going to be cutting through it because we don't want to mess with these algorithms. Everybody hit that thumbs up button for me now. 1,200 folks are in this chat so uh, 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 watching our live. So y'all be sure to share this. We're going to get some more thumbs up, thumbs up, share, share, share. Watch this. I denounce anti-Semitism in all its forms. <laughs> and I stand with my friends in the Jewish community. 
And that, Kanye, is how you buy yourself some time. Can somebody put some black hand claps in the chat? Can we go ahead and give Dave Chappelle a round of applause? Coach Donnie in the chat, that's my dear brother. Can we just go ahead and give him a round of applause? Y'all know I can't play all this stuff. I'm gonna have to skip around. Can we just go on and give Dave Chappelle right now a round of applause? God, today, don't play with it. <laughs> just don't play with it. I gotta skip around though. I got to. Okay, let me skip to this part because I tried to make some marks about different parts. After they said that. Watch this. Kanye got into some scripts before normally when he. Y'all listen to what he says now. He listen now. I'm going back so you can you don't miss it. What did he say here? <laughs> Kanye got into some scrapes before normally when he made the trouble I pulled up I pulled up immediately but this time I was like you know what uh, let me see what's going to happen first let's see, let's see what this is all going watch this can you remember how it started listen vaguely I remember it started with a tweet strange tweet it was like um now they playing they playing with the with the with the video here. So let me fast forward because I want y'all to hear this, okay? So you hear what he said. He said normally he pulls up when Kanye gets into something, but he said on this one, he said, let me let me see what happens first. Y'all know he telling the truth. It's funny, but it's the truth nonetheless. But watch this, watch this part. I think this is one. <laughs> Kanye woke up from that night, we went right to work. <laughs> A year ago, I'd seen him on a podcast called Drink Champs, a great show, uh, and, and it was it was an amazing appearance. Uh, Noriega and them were there, the rappers that I love, and they all had their gold chains and stuff on. And uh, Kanye said, "Only millionaires wear chains." They said, "What?" He said, I'm "I gotta skip a little bit, family. I'm gonna put the link in later for you all to watch the entire monologue, but I gotta get to where I'm going quickly. Okay, watch this." <laughs> Ironically, Adidas was founded by Nazis. <laughs> and they were offended. I guess the students have passed the teacher. Family, don't forget that. All of these white people, I don't care what religion or your political or social label you use. They don't have this same type of energy that they have for Ye and, and Kyrie. They don't have that same type of energy for Adidas that was literally, not figuratively, but literally founded by Nazis. It's a big deal. He had broken the show business rules. Uh -oh. This is the rule, you know, the rules of perception. If, if they're black, then it's a game. Listen. If they're Italian, it's a mob, but if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence and you should never speak about it. <laughs> God, today, I don't need to add nothing. I ain't finna say nothing. I'm just letting Dave talk. We not gonna say nothing, family. We just listening. We just listening. I said, we not saying nothing. We show respect to people and stuff. It's rules. It's just a rule. You know, the rules of perception. If, if they're black, then it's a game. If they're Italian, it's a mob. But if they're Jewish, it's a coincidence and you should never speak about it. <laughs> Kanye got in so much trouble, Kyrie got in trouble. <laughs> Kyrie, Kyrie Irving posted a, a, a link to a movie that he had seen on Amazon. No caption on the post or nothing like that. But apparently this movie had some, I don't know, anti-Semitic tropes or something. It was some weird title, like from Hebrew to Negro or something. <laughs> And the NBA told me he should apologize, and he was slow to apologize. And then the list of demands to get back in their good graces got longer and longer, and this 
this is where, you know, I draw the line. Listen. I know Jewish people have been through terrible things all over the world, but 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 you can't blame that on black Americans. You just somebody put some clap hand claps in the chat. Did you all hear what Dave just said? He said, This is where I draw the line. I know the Jewish people have been through terrible things all over the world. Do you see how black folks keep acknowledging other people's oppression? Do you see how we acknowledge that y'all shouldn't have dealt with Hitler's madness? We want to know, can you do the same? What did you say, Dave? But 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 you can't blame that on black Americans. You just you just can't. You know what I mean? Thanks to the one person that said who. <laughs> A fair punishment would be you should just post a link to Shimmer. Did you hear what he said? You can't blame that on black people. And how many of y'all know that Dave could have said even more? And if you watch the, the monologue, Dave went in. I don't even cuss and I was cussing. <laughs> <laughs> Listening to it at home in the in, in private and stuff. I don't even cuss and I was cussing. Did you hear what I said? Dave did not leave his opponent for the 10th and 12th round. Dave said, I'm getting a knockout in the first few seconds. As soon as they say, ding, 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 Dave just was straight up just a knockout. It was just, and then he was just, it wasn't, he wasn't even trying to be going two and three rounds even. Dave said, forget that. I'm skipping the other stuff he said and stuck. This is what the ADL said, because I didn't even read you what the complaint was, right? Now that I've played you certain excerpts in relevant part to, and I showed you this article first, right? Now listen to what they say. Dave Chappelle's opening monologue on Saturday Night Live was blasted by the head of the Anti-Defamation League for popularizing anti-Semitism. They done sat there and lied on another black man calling him anti-S. The ADL CEO, Jonathan Greenblatt, listen to what he said. And I tweeted his funny looking self on Twitter. He said, quote, we shouldn't expect Dave Chappelle to serve as society's moral compass, but disturbing to see NBC, NL, not just normalize, not just normalize, but popularize anti-Semitism. This nobody, ADL, who goes around threatening networks and people if they continue to work with black folks. The ADL is used to impose economic sanctions against black folks who get out of line. He sat up there and said that Dave was popularizing anti-S. Think about that. Who, who are you? Who are these people that we should apologize to? Who are these people that we should even care what they say? Let me tell you something about some of my haters. As one of my mentors and my brother says, your open enemies, your open haters. Let me tell you about a couple of them. One of the greatest things that upset me was not just their attack on me, their modified attacks where they were manipulating my words and cutting and pasting stuff and giving misinformation and leaving out their dirty hands that I'm still keeping private. I'm still not telling what y'all did and said and stuff. I'm still not talking publicly about the for real, for real receipts I got. Just let my lawyers handle the stuff. Watch this. The most upsetting thing is not just about they attempted to attack me. Because it's an attempt. Because all this going to work for my good. You do know that, right? Watch this. It's the fact that I even know your name. <laughs> God, did I just say that? Yeah. For some of you, I got no business even knowing 
with almost an eight billion people on the planet. I ain't got no business even knowing your name. I, it's not even my job to know you exist like that. Some of it ain't even the tax by itself. You feel me? It's the fact that why do I even know your name? You see. And when the goddess accurately and privately checks you, I don't need to speak, baby. The way you've been handling stuff for these months and Sundays tells an intelligent person everything they need to know. I didn't miss at all. I know how to run my empire, baby. So some of you that was talking, you need to mind yours. Fix your house, your condo, your apartment. Go run that. You see? And trust and believe. I know what to do over here. It ain't people. It's not the stuff that you do to mask your motives. You mad at me because I'm seeing through darkness. Oh, that's good. You mad at me, baby. Because I was seeing through darkness. But I digress. What else did the ADL say? They went on to talk about why are J people sensitivities denied or diminished at almost every turn? Why does our trauma trigger applause? What? Y'all about to make me do once again. Jay-Z song. Y'all know he be saying the N word, but I be changing it to the word ninja. Jay-Z got an old school song said, what? Ninja who? Ninja what? That's what I'm confused about and stuff. Marsha, your gift is blessed a thousandfold. What? Ninja who? Ninja what? That's what I'm saying. When you sit up here and say stuff like, why are Jayish sensitivities denied and diminished at almost every turn? Fool! It's black folks who are making the news nonstop for murders of us. It's we who are gerrymandered, denied housing and proper funding and loans and reparations and justice. Ninja what? Ninja who? Ninja what? Then got the nerve to say, why does our trauma trigger applause? Trauma? Ninja? Ninja who? Ninja what? Trauma that we shed black blood to stop a hundred years ago, practically. You saying that while we're dealing with 500 years of hell, we're still in no relief financially, and you've neither ceased nor desist our oppression. We don't disrespect you. It wasn't mandatory that you learn about the black Holocaust, but it was mandatory that we know who you are. And I said we shed black blood. So y'all can tag the ADL Jonathan Greenblatt and you can tell him that Vicki Dillard said to remind you that we shed very black blood. Famously blacker, your $200 gift is blessed a thousandfold. I give thanks. Let me tell you something right now. Y'all ain't ready for this. <laughs> Some of you who, whether you're a Christian or whether you are part of some other spiritual system, because there are many spiritual systems that utilize the Bible, but they utilize it in different ways. There is an emphasis and an understanding about the blood of Jesus. Yes. Regardless of whether you believe Jesus is Christ, Jesus is a prophet, or Jesus was an ascended master. a prophet or a magician. He was an important figure. Watch this. I'm talking about the revolutionary black Jesus though. Watch this, watch this, watch this. You talk about the blood he shed. <coughs> but you don't understand that that had to do with magic. The power in his blood. Similarly, in the book of Genesis, when it talks about Cain and Abel, Cain killed Abel, yes, the brothers, yes. But then it says that the creator, the most high, inquired, yes, to Cain 
about his brother. And he inquired of Cain about his brother's murder because he said his blood was speaking from the ground. Vicky, what are you saying? I'm telling you that our ancestors are at work in the world and it is their blood that's speaking. Those of you that attended my delicious ancestral webinars, you know you got this information and some of you have gotten unbelievable breakthroughs because you understand that that's your royal court. And when you properly exercise your invisible government, some of you were, have been getting breakthroughs in every area of your life. They told you to demonize him. They told you that you were just speaking to the dead, but they misunderstand it. And I proved to you in no limit of time that the very book that you use invokes ancestral reverence on a regular basis. But you ain't got time for that, you see. I'm just suggesting to you that what you are seeing stirred up now is being initiated from the invisible realms and your ancestors' blood that was shed for hundreds of years at the Calvary that's in Oklahoma and Mississippi and Tennessee and Georgia and Texas. The Calvaries are in many states in North America. You want me to talk about Joan of Arc? We were forced to learn about our Joan of Arc being burned at the stake. But how many of my black mothers do you know that were burned at the stake and on the cross here and body parts, feet? How many of my fathers did you see your Christian clergymen who did many of their Christian rituals on a Sunday? I've taught you this many times. And when they barbecued your ancestor, it was not because barbecue was a sauce. Talk black to me. Barbecue is a style of burning, you see. The clergymen that understood the Christian occult were reenacting the Moses situation, the Moses' altar burning. Have you ever wondered why they were eating black body parts? Some of y'all don't get it. Some of you laugh at it because you don't know your power and you don't know how it works. So you mock your sister with the curly braids. All that spiritual chit chat she doing over there. Have you ever wondered why they did it on the Sunday and many were clergymen? No, you didn't. Mama D said, I just got chills. Watch this. <laughs> But they got the nerve to say, why does our trauma trigger applause? If you don't sit your funny looking step down, some of you talked about the fact online that Dave Chappelle used the N-word the whole time, but nobody got mad about the N-word. I used to be kind of like, don't use the N-word, but I don't really trip like that because I've got different understandings of the N-word. I'm not saying to be reckless with the word and stuff like that, but I got my own esoteric reasons for saying that. And I'm not going to go there with y'all right now, but let's just leave it for now and say this much. Since the N-word is supposed to be an unacceptable word, it is noticeable that the ADL did not mention that, you see. They had no problem with that. The article goes on to say, Chappelle's opening monologue dove into the, the recent anti-S from rapper Kanye Ye West and Brooklyn Nets star Kyrie Irving that resulted in widespread condemnation. First of all, Ye's words, you shouldn't be jumping on there talking about on the bandwagon family talking about uh, that Ye uh, threatened somebody, especially when he clarified what he said. And most of you all understand he misspelled the military term for readiness, DEFCON 3. And that's what he immediately came out and apologized and tried to clear up because he shouldn't have said DEF. He meant DEFCON. And those of you that understand military language knew that it meant readiness. Yes. They were mad about Dave's opening. And they're quoting some of his monologue in the article I'm skipping. 
it goes on to say that Chappelle said he grew up around Jewish people and he has lots of Jewish friends, so I'm not freaked out by your culture. Why do some of, uh, uh, he goes on to talk about some of his jokes. They put this all through the article. And then it says here, Jewish rights activist Rudy Roachman called the SNL skit a meticulous and calculated move to desensitize the population from anti-Semitism while time out new theater, New York theater editor Adam Feldman argued that Dave Chappelle's NSL monologue probably did more to normalize anti-S than anything Kanye said. If y'all don't sit your funny looking self down. We shed black blood. Family, don't, don't get deep with these people. When I say these people, I'm talking about folks online that's trying to lie and claim that black folks are somehow the oppressor. When in fact, the very people we shed black blood in World War II to save, you got the nerve to call us anti-ass. Baby, we shed black blood for you. But some of you in every religious community, including yours, we can prove in no limit of time your very heavy hand in oppressing us prior to and even during the time that we made our way over to Germany to shed black blood to save you. You may not fix your lips to say such things to us. There's a changing of the gods, baby. There's a changing of the goddesses. And you don't just get to run your mouth. Minister Farrakhan, his researchers, his elite scholars, and many other black folks have longed and begged to sit down publicly and have a conversation about these claims but you refuse to show up for the conversation or the debate. If you have nothing to hide, you respect the people that went to save your life. Do not be offended, Black family. The blood that Jesus shed for me way back on Calvary, the blood. Y'all remember that? That gives me strength. <coughs> Y'all remember that? From day to day, it will never. blood of our ancestors that had the Christos. Y'all ain't ready for this. The anointing, the power, the melanin, the royal bloodline will never lose its power. So every time you fix your lips to call us anti-anything, the blood God today that we shed for you. Don't say nothing, but we shed black blood. That's all you need to say. So much more I gotta say, but I gotta go. And they want us to be careful in what we say. I've said enough. But you know, like we know, that you are accusing black folks It's over. And let me tell some of you all that were raccooning and running your mouth so outrageously against Kyrie and Ye. Jaya says, always on point, Queen, the voice is, mm, oh, thank you, beloved. Your gift is blessed a thousandfold. Listen. The reason why you see the Jalen Rose's weak, weird, funny looking boot licking bone and biscuit looking self, he's now backtracking. 
The reason you're seeing Shaq being exposed and called out, the reason you're seeing Shannon Sharp's buck looking, he is a swirling buck around his piece. The reason you see some of them backtracking a little bit is because some of you in the black grassroots family, you refused to run your mouth against your brothers. You decided to stand with them and call out the powers that shouldn't be. Let me tell you something, it's written. These spiritual principles in the book of James, it says to resist, I'm quoting the scripture. It says, resist the devil and he will flee. <laughs> Let me say it again. It says, resist the devil and he will flee. Some of you ain't resisted. You've succumbed. You acquiesced. And you dogged your own. It says, resist the devil and he will flee. Does that mean that in war sometimes somebody ain't going to shed some blood? Does it mean that there might not be a, a few casualties sometimes? No. We understand this is war. But for the majority of our people, and for the next generation of black self-determination, it matters what you do now. You understand. Can't do nothing with no scared to death. Nick Rose, what am I going to do with that? I got to go. I love you to pieces. I'm your sister with the curly braids. Join my spiritual school because the price is about to go up. I'm pretty... Um, uh, working a bunch of yummy, yummy upcoming things. I'm getting ready to start planning in the next month or two, my next ancestor webinar, which you want to be a part of. There is a cost, but it will absolutely change your life. And I want the right people uh, there to get this information. And I want you to implement the things that um, I'm going to be teaching you uh, in my upcoming ancestors webinar. Inshallah, it will be done before the end of the year. Get on my email list at vickiplanet.com. That's V-I-C-K-I-P-L-A-N-E-T. That's V-I-C-K-I-Planet.com. Vickiplanet.com. Also, my spiritual school. Get in while you can because the prices are about to go up, beloved. Let me. I'm pinning. Ooh, ooh. Let me. Can y'all see me? I done hit a whole other button trying to pin uh, my moderator's. Oh, yes, the website. That's the that's that's the website. Vicky is on purpose with Vicky.com or VickiPlanet.com. Go there today. For those of you that ask how you can send money, all this kind of stuff, you should be able to see it there. Uh, my cash app is dollar sign O-P-W-V-I-C-K-I. That's ca uh, cash app dollar sign O-P-W-V-I-C-K-I. Uh, for those of you that want to give PayPal uh, on purpose at ymail.com. That's on purpose, the letter ymail.com. Uh, anyway, I love you so much. I'm your sister with the curly braids. You are my bliss. I bow to you. I can't wait to see you again.